Hey guys, what's going on? So, um, today in this video, I'm going to be showing you the new tutorial that I just finished for uh, Paradox 728. Um, if you would like to play the server, it is, the link will be in the description. Uh, at the moment, it's not up, but I will be getting it up within the next week or so. I just have to finish everything completely 110% before I release it because I don't like finishing things last minute right before they're like released so uh, anyways let's get into it okay so it's based off of the Lumbridge Sage I'm planning on when I finish my uh, custom NPC titles so it doesn't like cause right now there's already custom NPC titles but it like really messes up sometimes and like every time the player teleports it doesn't update the NPC so it comes back to the original name and I just need I need to set parameters for it but it's gonna take too long so I can't be doing it right now when I need to get the server up and running um, but anyways for now it's Lumbridge Sage um, anyways click on him he'll tell you to go to the portal the really nice little cutscene that goes over to the portal and uh, hit arrows too I noticed matrix didn't have those but I added them. Anyways, it has little uh, dialogues. And when I'm done with my quest handler, right now it's a bit buggy, but when I'm done with it, uh, it'll have a learning the ropes and it'll have the actual interfaces and everything. I already have them. I just need to get, I need to find out how to edit strings on the quest. <laughs> but uh, anyways, click on that. I didn't make it so that you have to click on one of these, but uh, it's because I haven't finished these yet. These don't actually go to anywhere. I have to do that, but I didn't find the time to do it. Uh, but anyways, you click on it, sends a new hint icon over here. And it's a pretty simple tutorial. It's just for people who are stupid and can't figure out, hey, where do I go to teleport, even though it's right there? And where do I go to buy shops? It's right there. Where do I go to bank? Right there. <laughs> it's pretty simple, but anyways. Um, and I'm working on Slayer, so when Slayer's done, I'll have it actually ha give a custom task of like two hellhounds or something, or like two wizards or something like that, and you actually have to teleport to the area and kill one before you can continue the tutorial. Um, but for now, it's just simple for when the server's released. Um, so now he's telling me to go to uh, the merchant. And once again, I can edit this to where it doesn't say interrogate, it says uh, talk to or trade or whatever. And when I'm done with this guy, he'll have uh, a whole list, like an interface list of uh, every shop, so it's a lot easier than just running around in circles trying to find which shop's which. Um, but anyways, talk to him. The hint icon does not disappear until the dialogue's over. Anyways, he's just pretty much saying, good luck. <laughs> And it's n there's no really no need for a tutorial on how to buy stuff. It's self-explanatory if you've ever played a private server before. Um, and it doesn't do it until I press this button. It's to stop uh, glitches. But anyways, so uh, congratulations, help book has been put in your inventory. Blah blah blah. But anyways, um. With Eldorazi before, there was a help book that I made custom, like a custom item, and the right click options were uh, um, help in certain like areas of help, like uh, so you don't just read a giant page full of uh, help tips and stuff. It's just uh, how you right click it instead of read. It says uh, skills, monsters, slayer, so on and so forth so you don't like it's it's a lot better um, and I have to do that again because I updated the catchy so it deleted it um, but anyways that's it for now um, if you'd like to join the server please go in the link in the description it will be lithium.org and uh, server will be out within the next week see you guys later